Hi, my name is Kristen and I work with the Kids Have Rights program, which is a prevention program through the Children's Advocacy Center of Kent County. And I am here today to talk to you about how to weave body safety conversations into everyday chats with your kids. Instead of planning for a big talk, make teaching your child about body safety a part of everyday life. Teaching our children about body safety and talking to them about personal space, boundaries, touching and saying no, helps protect them from sexual harm and abuse. View this as an ongoing conversation that will change as your child grows older and is exposed to different situations. Consistent conversations that are calm and casual about keeping your child's body safe. Send the message to your child that this is a topic that you are comfortable with and that they can come and talk to you about. I wanted to give a couple of concrete examples of what this could look like in everyday life. The first is for parents or caregivers of younger kids. Um, a good time to have a body safety conversation might happen while you're playing a game with your kids, whether that's Uno or Go Fish, anything like that. Um, it's a good time just to point out all of the fun and safe games that you like to play together. It's also an important time to point out the fact that there are games that are not safe. Let your kids know that if someone, anyone at all, a kid, a grown up, a teenager, or a friend, ever wants to play a game with them, and the game that they want to play is about showing or touching private parts, let your kids know that that is not safe and that that would be a very important time for them to come and talk to you. Let them know that when they come to you, you will listen to them, you will believe them, and they will not be in trouble. For older kids, a good time to have a body safety conversation might arise while you're watching a video or a movie together. Again, just a good time to point out all of the fun and safe videos and things there are to see online. Um, and also a good time to point out that there are things that are not safe on screens. Let them know that if someone, anyone at all, a kid, a grown up, a teenager, a friend, if anyone ever shows them something on a screen, and what they want to show them are pictures or videos of people with no clothes on, but that again is something that is not safe and that that is an important time for them to come and talk to you or to another safe adult. Remember, when a child feels empowered through knowledge, he or she will ultimately be more in control of their safety. For more information about body safety or how to talk to your kids, you can go to cac-kent.org. Thank you.